reasons. <laughs> a date or either the day or life update. So I would have loved to do this sitting at home by my couch, but I'm here now, so why not get over that with it, you know? Yes, it's gonna take me some while to get used to recording on landscape because I'm so used to recording on on a portrait and then just editing the video and making it be landscape. But the developer told me for it. The videos appear smaller on a TV, so I'm gonna start recording on landscape. Anyway, here's the thing now. So it's been. Let me put this here. Mm -hmm. So it's been three months of seeking employment since my last employment contract ended it ended last year in december goodness i don't even know if i'm looking at you guys right straight in the eyes because i'm looking here and my face the center of my face is this one but yeah anyway let me try switch this no this will have to do so I've been seeking employment and then yesterday I reached a condition, actually I've long reached this condition that I'm moving back home. Nah? So yesterday what I did, I woke up like I've been feeling very down, like you know, that down off, I don't want to clean, I don't want to do anything, I'm just doing like this. So yesterday I woke up, did some cleaning and decided, let me take pictures of everything that I have in the house and then sell my stuff. And then after doing that, um, I decided to upload. Uh, I decided to upload my things on Facebook, make an upload on Twitter, both my Facebook accounts, Twitter, uh, Facebook Market, and stuff. And then, goodness, didn't I get an overwhelming response the calls i received the messages it has just been a lot you know but let's thank god for that because i've received bias for almost everything i have few items that are still up for for selling and then the rest they got you know sharp so today uh, a friend of mine told me that at Old Mutual they are looking for financial advices so I must take my CV and whatnot I did go and then yeah we will just wait to hear if I'll get called for an interview or anything of that nature but yeah <sighs> that's that so with everything happening I'm just, you know, I realize just how numb I am towards everything because, guys, we need to move. Uh, like, I would really love a permanent job so that I honestly do not have to move, at least not this soon, you know. Especially if it's a case of moving because of unemployment. It would be nice to relocate because you got a new position, you got a better position and stuff. And yeah, you know, and like now moving because you are unemployed, you have to go back home. It's like, oh goodness, you know. But if there is one thing that I admire about myself, it is the ability to. to what? Not the ability, it is my resilience. Let me not say my ability. But it is the fact that I'm able to accept the situation for what it is, not what I want it to be, not what I hope for it to be. I am quick to accept that oh, this is a reality, snap out of whatever and start making a plan. You know, don't sit around and whine around with you, know, things are bad. Blah, blah. No, make a plan. Make a plan, my baby girl. I love that about me. I admire that about me. That is my strength. That is my that is my superpower. That is my superpower because honestly, the number of times that I've had to move will 
get other people shouting with Ibo yelling, yelling, you know. And now people were busy telling me what I no, don't sell your stuff. Stick like wait around, maybe something will come up and 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 but my saying is I'm not gonna sit around and wait for something to come up while I waste money paying rent. My rent is 2.5. I have to buy food. I, I need to get toiletries. I need to buy cleaning detergents. My laundry, it keeps piling and I will need to wash it. Um, I need to pay my Wi-Fi. It's, it's a lot, you know. I could only just focus on paying Wi-Fi a month and then decrease on the cost of paying rent and, and, and the very same money that I was to use by myself, I could use it at home, you know. That is that is just my thinking. So yeah. So with all of that, I just wanted to say there could be somebody out there who is kind of reluctant to move, step over and you know, recuperate. Like guys, there is nothing wrong with studying over, there is nothing wrong with packing your bags, moving back home and regaining your strength, uh, a clear vision. Going back to the drawing board, okay, I'm well aware that for some people, home is not a peaceful place, home is not a welcoming place, home is not a place that you could easily go back to because right? So whatever it is that you can go back to as your hiding place, as your place of recharge and whatnot, go to it, you know? Some people don't have an option, I know, because but hey, I, I, I don't know what would my advice be for such people, but for people that still have a home, somehow you have and guys, pack your bags and go home. There is no need to do that in the city. Try to sustain a certain lifestyle because but about to hey, hey. But how about you the next? How about no battle la rente? How about no regular dijo? How about you the next? But how about you want to go on? You know. So, yeah, I remember when I was at home now for two months because I came back towards the month end of February. People would ask me like, "When are you leaving? Are you going to work?" And I, you know what? It frustrated me yes to get those questions. But because I'm an open book, I would just answer that I'm no longer working. I'm back home, you know? Because, guys, there's nothing to be ashamed of, you know? Unemployment is a crisis in South Africa. It is a global issue. It's not an issue, yeah, how only one, you know? It's an issue that affects everyone. It's not like you know how we used to hide HIV and AIDS how we used to hide that we did abortions how we used to hide that we we what we got impregnated by married men and, and it's it's mamela so many things are no longer a taboo right now because it's 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 it things happen for everyone you know and if there are those people who don't get to experience hardships like some of us then how level hell I wanna hear so and can it we pray you don't get to experience it you know because to be honest home and I do to have a smooth sailing book below but for those of us who go through the most there is nothing wrong with accepting things do get better you know they may not get it better now they may not get it better get better. Why, why was I saying it like that? They may not get better the following day, but eventually they will get better. We hold on to the hope. We hold on to faith. We hold on to the promises of God because they are yes and amen. You know? And with us saying amen, we are saying let it be so. You know? Even when they are not favorable, you know? We still stand and say so, hey, 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 not now. So, to everybody that has been sharing words of encouragement with me, to everybody that has been sharing my posts, getting me customers, people that were sharing vacancies with me, 
Mamelang, I am grateful from the bottom of my heart. I am grateful. And I will keep up the good faith. I will keep up a good fight and in no time. Thank you, and things will be better, you know. testimony to say God has done this for me, God has done that, you know. You know, let me eat. Oh, I get a little bit of a chicken and I'll never deny myself an opportunity to have it regardless of the situation if it means if it means <laughs> I cannot be that irresponsible. But what I mean is, how enjoy you feel, man, guys? How enjoy you feel, man? My tata has been fell amut. So, how to learn? Take a soft one. Olusha. You know, Ulana, you got a